see anything. A mole? That's the biggest mole I've ever seen. That's because we're the smallest kids you've ever seen. Welcome to life beneath serene greens. Critter Cove? Are we really underground? <laughs> Looks like the short answer is yes. This is amazing! Ah! Remember why we're here, Jax. Why are we here, Didge? Um, who are you? We're the Cyber Squad. Motherboard sent us here to help. We don't need any help. Everything's fine in Critter Cove. We're looking for Hapo. I'm here, Didge. <gasps> Hapo? My full name is Haplo Taxida. It means earthworm. My friends call me Hapo for short. It's nice to meet you, Hapo. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Forgot you're a worm. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Things are a total disaster here. What are you talking about? Everything's fine. Yeah, Hapo, you worry too much. Hang on, you two. Give Hapo a chance to tell us what's wrong. It would be better if I show you. The problem isn't here in Critter Cove. It's in my neighborhood, Crawling Falls. Low ceiling ahead. Something tells me where we're going isn't as nice as Critter Cove. Yikes! It is! Hang on! Whoa! Whoa. <gasps> Man, that was close. Hmm. hmm. Any ideas yet? I don't mean to rush you, but my world is literally crumbling around me. <sighs> See? Here's what we know. Crawling Falls used to be just like Critter Cove. So something happened to make Crawling Falls change. But I don't know what that something is. Hmm, I have an idea. Let's take another look at Critter Cove. We can see what's there compared to what's here. Make observations, gather facts, compare. I love it. Once we observe the differences, maybe we'll figure out what's going on. Exactly. Come on, Matt. Let's check out Critter Cove. Let us know when you get there. I'll keep track of what we find in both places. Don't worry. Just visiting. Okay, let's get started. Tell us what you observe, and we'll do the same. The soil here looks nice and rich. Hold on. It's soft, and it crumbles easily. And when I squeeze it, it stays together. What about the soil in Crawling Falls? It's hard and clumpy here. Try squeezing it, Ditch. It doesn't stay together. Okay. Soil texture, soft and crumbly in Critter Cove, hard and cracking in Crawling Falls. These roots are completely dried out. What about the roots in Critter Cove? Thick and strong. And tasty. Roots. Strong in Critter Cove. Not so strong in Crawling Falls. No wonder all my friends are leaving. They haven't all left, Apple, have they? Good question, Didge. Let's do a count. See how many are in Critter Cove compared to here. Okay, Matt, how many critters are in your area? They're everywhere, and they keep moving. It's hard to count them. I have an idea. Let's use a sample area, a smaller section to represent the whole neighborhood. Good thinking, Jax. We can measure by counting steps. That way, Inez and Digit can use the same size sample area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten paces, cool. Everyone, if I could please ask you to stay still for just one sec. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you. Continue. We count nine in our sample area, Nez. Got it. Since Jackie and I are about the same height, I'll use ten paces, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
How many critters in the sample area? Just one. Me. <laughs> Make it two. I'm still here. Hey, Petey. <laughs> Glad you stayed. <laughs> two. Living things, Critter Cove, a lot. Crawling falls, not so many. Anything else we should observe? I don't think so. Come on back, then. Let's see what we can figure out. All right, let's compare the data we collected. In Critter Cove, the soil texture is soft. It holds its shape when you smush it together. Not so in Crawling Falls. It's all hard and cracked here. And check out the roots. Big difference there, too. In Critter Cove, the roots are thick and strong, and there are lots of them. But here in Crawling Falls, they're dried out, and there are barely any left. How'd we do on the critter count? We counted nine living things in Critter Cove, and that was only in our sample area. There are a lot more than that. In comparison, there were only two in Crawling Falls. No matter what, Hapo, I'm with you. Thanks, Petey. What does it all mean? Well, what do healthy roots and healthy soil have in common? They're healthy. <laughs> right, Didge, but why? Uh, for one thing, when soil is healthy, it has all the water it needs. That's what keeps the ground soft and the roots strong. Exactly! Water helps create a healthy habitat. But when soil is unhealthy, sometimes it's because there's no water. Without moisture, it becomes dry and cracked. The roots fray, and living things can't survive. So the problem is the moisture. Or no moisture. Bingo. We need to figure out what's going on down here that's making the moisture disappear. What if the problem isn't down here? What if it's up there? Hey, what's that noise? I don't know, but I've been hearing it for weeks. We should take a look. Um, is there an exit around here? We can take this tunnel. Be careful, Hap! Wait. Wait. Go! This way! I surfaced. You don't live here. No one lives here. Hey, I live here, and so do my friends. You can't see them because they live underground. So a couple of worms live underground. So what? I'm building above ground. But you're pulling up the grass and stomping down the soil to do it. And that's destroying the soil where Hapo lives. I'm so very sorry to hear that. Actually, I really am. Me too. Whatever your plan is, Hacker, you won't get away with it! <laughs> really? Somehow I don't think you're in a position to stop me. The digits! Whoa! Our big hand! Look at us now, Hacker! Be taking the 
voice now? You'll never stop me. Never! Uh, I think we should go, boss. Get me out of here! Yeah! Papo! Hurry, boss! You got rid of Hacker. Yeah, but what a mess he left. We can fix it. We'll replant the grass. The soil will become healthy again. And so will crawling folds. You'll see. <laughs> Watch your favorite shows anytime on the PBS Kids video app.